In the Contain project, we have developed a European shipping containers security solution in a global context. The solution is centered around a platform which resembles a business intelligence solution where data is stored in a secure way and shared among the stakeholders. My name is Wilf van Eswijk. I work for the European Commission for the Director General for Taxation and Customs and I'm a policy officer in supply chain security and detection technology. There are various reasons why the CONTAIN project has been initiated by the Commission. First thing, from a customer's perspective, because that's the area which I'm covering for the, the general objective, the policy objective for uh, the customs administrations in Europe and also for the European Commission is to enhance security for our European citizens and at the same time we have also to facilitate legitimate trade. You have to know that there are about uh, 60 million containers who are moving around the world. Each container will do an average four to six trips a year. Uh, customs need to know a bit where these containers are coming from, how they're moving, what is their background. And the Contain project is about to do tracking and tracing and to monitor the voyages, the trips of the individual uh, containers. And that of course is relevant information for customs because then we know where a container has been, where it has been stocked, where it has been loaded, where it has been offloaded and that's important information from us. What also is very important is from the European Commission, as customs, we have, a number, we have a number of challenges. You also have to know that, for example, in 2013, customs every second had to deal with, in average, eight declarations. So somebody uh, gives goods to, to, uh, to the customs which needs to be cleared and we need to check. The customs administrations are faced with reduced budgets, reduced resources, human resources, less staff, and so we need to have information uh, so how we can do a more enhanced and a more efficient risk management selection and the controls and also there the contain project is helping customers because they give them additional information which they could use in their decision making process whether a container has to be selected or not. So the security research uh, from the DG tax suits uh, perspective is seen as very valuable and very important to um, put customs in a position that they can do their uh, uh, controls and their, their risk analysis, their risk assessment in a more effective and more efficient way. On the route, you have to be a, a bit, uh, uh, we have to nuance that because, for example, in the maritime uh, environment, so when the container is really on the ocean uh, sailing vessel, then there is a very limited risk that something would happen with the container. The critical parts are, of course, where human beings have access to containers and that's normally in the where the ground handling is it can be in the port of departure sometimes in the port of arrival so we have to be absolutely sure that uh, that a container when it's it's it's, it's cleared and when it starts its trip that it's not tampered with and with tampering we means that we don't want that somebody is taking something out of the container or even try to put something in let's say for example uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction uh, dirty bombs that of course are things that absolutely we want to uh, we, we want to avoid so besides the the the, uh, the tracking and the tracing also we put a lot of emphasis on to uh, to enhance uh, uh, the security of the cargo during its trip so that means that you can put electronic seals, container security devices attached to a container so that customs, when the container lands in the port of embarkation, that you can say, listen, I am absolutely sure that this container is nothing happened with, it's not tempered, so it's from us, from a customer's perspective, it's free to go. And that would then also be in line with our policy objective that we, that we facilitate trade so that the goods are, uh, from a customer's perspective, cleared as soon as possible so the goods can go their uh, commercial route. My expectations from the project are that I hope that uh, the CONTAIN project will deliver uh, a mechanism, uh, an instrument, additional information for the customs administrations which they could build in their daily uh, work when they do a risk collection that they have a certain history of individual container movements and that it would be an additional tool to support their decision whether a container is to be considered as low risk, medium risk, high risk and then they could apply appropriate control measures to that specific container. So that would be an important advantage from the customer's perspective.
there were some demonstrators uh, which have been done in three different ports in Genova, in the Interporto Bologna and in the port of Valencia where they also they did a very important testing of automated scanning controlling of empty containers which sometimes they pose a threat to the customs administrations so it's good we have some that that has been tested as well of course this project will run into uh, uh, March 2015 and then, of course, the Commission will take on board all the lessons learned, the recommendations from this project, and we expect that we will feed them in to another uh, uh, big uh, research, security research demonstrator project. The project is called CORE, which is currently ongoing. It has started in June, which then can really demonstrate how a secure, safe, resilient, efficient supply chain should work so that we can meet our policy objectives that we really uh, can say that we enhanced the, um, the security for our European citizens and in the other way we also we facilitate uh, trade and if we can reply positive to, uh, to, to those policy objectives then all the people together who are involved I think we really contributed to make uh, 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 Europe an, uh, a secure and safe place.